for WhatsApp you to photograph a running suit and a tutorial. this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily achieve the best skin tones and perfect skin tones for your photos if at all you are using Photoshop so this is going to be for only using Photoshop with just few simple and easy to follow steps so simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel so you can see this is the before and this is what i'm going to be achieving by the end of this tutorial so this is the before after before and you can see that the skin tone of the model right here is very uniform and perfect so without further ado let's get started so i'm just going to come right here and i simply delete this so this is the image so you can either do this before retouching or after retouching depending on what you prefer as the person working on the image so with this you have to understand the basic knowledge of masking because that is what we're going to be using in this and if at all you don't know how to mask i'll be teaching you in this very video so what you're going to do basically we are going to come right here and create a gradient map adjustment layer so don't mind if at all your image is looking a little bit odd or if at all your image looks awkward at this point of the tutorial so after creating a gradient map adjustment layer come right here and simply deactivate it right here and after deactivating it right here just come and turn it off that is what i mean by deactivating make sure that you hide the gradient layer right here and now come and make sure that you have selected the gradient icon so make sure this box right here is on the gradient icon and not the layer mask so make sure the gradient icon has been selected for this to be effective so after selecting the gradient icon right here the next thing is going to be mapping the colors from this very image remember we just want to create a uniform skin tone and we wouldn't want to alter much the original skin tone or skin of the model so what we're going to be doing we're just going to be sampling colors from the darkest point of the skin tone then the medium color of the skin tone of the model and now the brightest point or the brightest color of the model skin so that is what we are going to be doing right now so what we have to do just come on this gradient color under properties and simply come and single click and when you see you left click on that area or single clicking it is going to open up the gradient editor so for those that don't know the gradient editor this tiny box showing here is the gradient editor and in this you can edit the gradients from the darkest color to the brightest color regarding skin tone but before you proceed, always make sure the sample is set to 3x3 three three average because this is going to be very accurate as you're trying to sample color from the model skin. So make sure also the gradient type is set to solid and the smoothness is set to 100%. And after doing that, you can notice that we have stoppers right here from this one on the left hand side and the one on the right hand side so the one on the left hand side is going to be for the darkest point of the skin tone and the one on the right hand side is going to be for the brightest color of the skin tone so we are going to sample from the darkest point by simply left clicking right on this pointer and as soon as you click on it just come and also click once again on the color and it's going to open up the color picker or stop color dialog box right here so in this we have to zoom into the image by using command plus on the keyboard and we are going to sample the darkest point of the model skin so i'll just come and sample this area right here as the darkest point of the model skin so i can, I can sample right there so this is the darkest point of the model skin and i'll hit ok then come the brightest point and single click on the stopper right there and left click once again on that color option and choose the brightest point of the model skin which is this highlight and hit ok then we are going to create the one for the middle or the mid tones by single clicking right here to create a stopper and coming the location and making sure that it is 50 percent so just type in 50 under location right here so that it is right in the middle and after doing that just come back to color and you choose a mid tone color or the mid tones of the model skin so you can choose whichever color that you prefer that you feel like is the mid-tone that doesn't belong in the shadows or the highlights. just choose a mid color so i'm just going to sample this as a mid-tone and i'll just come and hit ok so you can see that we have 
mapped or coped the colors regarding from the darkest color, the mid-tone, and the brightest color. So just come to this option and hit OK. And now come back and activate this. But you can see the colors are falling all over the place and this is not close to what we want for our skin tones. So what we have to do in this case, just come to the blend mode and change it from normal, change it all the way down. You can either use soft light if at all that works best for you. But for this tutorial, I prefer the color blend mode. So you can see this is close to skin tones but it is not accurate. Remember what I said at the start of the tutorial, make sure that you understand masking. And if at all you don't know masking, here we go. So we just want to mask on only the skin and apply the color grading on only the skin of the model in this case. So just come to this layer mask and select it. Remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide. That is why the effect is affecting the overall image. So in order to hide the effect from affecting the overall image, we want to invert or hide this behind a black mask. Remember black in Photoshop is going to hide. So with the white layer mask select, selected, press Ctrl I on the keyboard. For Mac, you can press Command I on the keyboard. So with this layer mask selected, press Command I on the keyboard, and that is going to invert uh, the effect. So I'm just going to show you this. So Command I, or you can simply come to the layer right here, and you can simply invert it by pressing Command I on the keyboard. So I'm just going to deselect this. Okay. So I'm just going to come and press Command I on the keyboard, and that is going to invert the effect. So after inverting the effect, remember we have chosen the color blend mode and selected the white layer mask and press Control, or you can use Command I on the keyboard, and it has created a black mask. That is why the effect can no longer be seen on the image. So when that is done, simply come and get the brush tool right here. And when the brush tool is selected, you have to make sure that you have black and white on these two color swatches. Or you can press D on the keyboard to reset it to black and white if at all you have any other random color. So make sure white is a foreground color by using X on the keyboard. To make sure that white is a foreground color, meaning the brush we just selected right here is going to be painting white and revealing the color grading that we hid behind this black mask. So make sure the settings... Make sure the hardness is at 0% and soft round brush has been selected. The mode of the brush, make sure it is in normal. Opacity at 100%, flat 100%. And now with, when you're done doing that, increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And with the white brush, simply come and paint on the skin. So I would recommend, for this step, I would recommend that you get a graphics tablet because this helps to fasten and speed up this kind of process and you don't have so much work to do trying to be precise so reduce on the size and paint on a relatively smaller area if at all you would love to paint on a smaller area so just do that and if at all you paint extras i'm going to be showing you how you can easily erase and eliminate color grading from given areas that you did not want to be affected by the color grading in the very first process so just paint on the skin and ensure that every area that has the skin has been thoroughly painted. So right now we are done painting on the skin. Now you can zoom in by pressing Command Plus and switch the brush back to black. And it is going to help you erase the extras that you painted in your photos. So just, just come and paint just like that. And you can see it is eliminating the color from the eyes and the lipstick so just come and erase that because sometimes this is going to change or alter the original makeup color so just erase it from the hair right there and make sure that you take time trying to do this so just come and erase it from those areas so i'm basically trying to fasten this but take your time as you're trying to erase you can see right here on the dress we still have the color affecting. So I'll just come and erase it just like that. And as simple as this, you can simply get uh, the best color grading on skin tones in your portraits in Photoshop. So you can see that is what we have right now. But now the image looks a little bit too much of the color. So you can now come and simply drop down the opacity to the one of your liking. So just take it around 
60 or 70 that is okay so this is the image before after before after before and after so this is how you can easily get the best skin tones in your images in photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating